Lisa here. There's a mower stuck in the middle of my yard. Now, why am I telling you this? <laughs> well, there were warning signs along the way. Like, it's not as if the middle of my yard magically became this bog of mud. Uh, it gradually got wetter and wetter and wetter. And you could see on each trip around the yard how the wheel marks were getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the grass and turning brown, like just a tiny bit brown, then a little bit more, then a little bit more. And then like you could really tell the grass was wet. And the person mowing, and I will not name names, the person mowing kept going, even though there were clear signs along the way that the grass was getting wet. And he kept going until he got stuck in the middle of the yard. Now, in our debrief, because <laughs> only a coach and trainer would call it a debrief, I said, why didn't you stop? And he, he said, because I hate when, it, when the grass is high and I wanted to get it done. Yeah, and now the mower is stuck in the middle of the yard. It's sunk about five inches down. <laughs> the same thing happens with your time all the time. All the time, the time in your calendar. There are signs coming in along the way that you're choosing to ignore because you're looking at something further down and how you'll feel further down. So for example, your calendar starts to feel tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter until you've, there's no room in there to breathe. And you had warning signs. You wanted to have lunch with a friend and you had a hard time finding a spot to put it in and you booked her out two months. Or you have this big presentation due for a client and you're working on it late at night because there's no space in your calendar to put it in. And I could give you 15 more examples of things that are coming from my clients along the way. But the bottom line is, is there are warning signs along the way that your calendar is starting to get too full. You feel it. You feel it in your shoulders. You feel it in your gut. And yet you're ignoring it because you're under that assumption that if you just keep your head down and just keep working harder, everything's going to be easier and everything's going to be okay. You just have to get through this patch. Just like the person not to be named felt while he was mowing the front yard. If you could just get through this patch, everything would, get, would be fine. The mower got stuck. You will get stuck also. At some point, you're either too tired to work well, or you have, frankly, ticked off your clients because they're tired of waiting for you to get their work done. Or you will run out of clients because you didn't prioritize marketing. There are road signs along the way. Pay attention and see them. So what can you do? Right now, I encourage you, take a look at your calendar and determine, are the activities on your calendar good or are they great? And if they're great, they stay. If they're good, start figuring out how to move them off the calendar so you have room for great. Great activities are actually taking the time to think and to envision your business and to create action plans and to figure out who to delegate to and what to delegate out and what your highest and best purpose is in your business. Those are great activities. Working with clients who give you energy every single day. Those are great activities. Going to networking events that build you up, feed you, and put you in a place in front of people who are in front of your ideal clients. Those are great activities. Good activities are those things that are a pretty good fit, but not great. And so you want to move from good to great. And you can do that by taking 15 minutes right now, pulling out your calendar and looking at it. So I would love for you to post below. What are you doing to make sure that when the signs are there, you actually stop and see them?